not quite sure what's going on, the Sheriff's Department has called us to respond to Salmon Creek. It's about 35 miles from here. They want us to go up to the 5900 line. And they have a newer Subaru four-wheel drive that it's the way the story got, two people were hauled to the hospital, but the vehicle is not wrecked, but it's pinned in with a bunch of trees, and we've got our cutter way into where the vehicle's at. So I've got a couple, three chainsaws, chainsaw gals, I'm taking a four-wheel drive, and we're going to go up there, pull it out with a four-wheel drive, and then uh, we'll load it up on the flatbed. Randy's driving the flatbed. He's about a half mile in front of me. Uh, they said we go up as far up Salmon Creek as the 5900 line, and then after that we go another five minutes. So it's got to be, it's got to be a good 10 to 15 miles off the main highway, uh, Highway 4, going up into the woods. It sounds like we'll be up there in about 45 minutes. We're now about 15 miles off the main highway, going up Salmon Creek, and. Uh, he said the car is approximately 200 feet or 200 yards down a logging road with trees down and the story they got was that two gentlemen in the vehicle have spent the last four days wandering around the woods lost uh, but they're only three miles back to the nearest house so we don't know what the whole story is but it sounds like if they spent four days last Friday we had a big storm so it's very possible they came up here Thursday and the storm blew trees down around them and they couldn't get out. But we'll know in a minute. We should be pretty close. 14 minutes up into the woods here. And, uh, boy, I don't know how far we're going here. We're going to keep going. We're going to come out in Raymond. Uh, we're going back uphill. We went down to a couple of canyons. Now we're going back uphill again. I hope Randy can get up that last steep hill back there. It was really steep. Uh, I might have to go back and tow him up the hill. There's a bar. I didn't bring a wrench. What's that? That chain there is going to be ready to fall off. Ah, oh, we don't give it a little, th little thing like that. Don't hurt nothing. Can you get her? Let's see how much gas is in this one here. These guys came up here during the storm and they got pinned in and when they got pinned in they went walking in the woods spent four days walking around the woods and didn't know how to get out and they were found but looks to me like they got themselves sideways and all these trees came down during the storm it was that storm last Friday that got them I'll bet you it had to have been. You said it's only been two days. Huh? You said it's only been two days. <laughs>
I figured as soon as I went the little ones, that was the end of it. Yep. We'll have to come back and whack a few more of these down so we can get in there. You're right now there's some bar there. Here you go. These guys came up here during the storm and they got pinned in and when they got pinned in they went walking in the woods spent four days walking around the woods and didn't know how to get out and they were found but looked to me like they got themselves sideways and all these trees came down during the storm it was that storm last Friday that got them I'll bet you it had to have been. You said it's only been two days. As soon as I went the little ones, that was the end of it. Yep. We'll have to come back and whack a few more of these down so we can get in there. You're right now, there's some bar there. Here you go. <laughs> get the big ones out of there and if we have to we can pull these out of there I'll bring my four-wheel drive back in here and we'll just give it a pull hopefully it'll start and run hopefully it run out of gas boy they, they buried it Oh, hat, don't do it. You might want 
to hook up, oh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we'll try a gentle pull if that don't do it. Worst case scenario, I might have to go to that tree to that block. Or that smaller tree? Uh, one of them. That's probably. a long ways down. To, that's straight down right there off oh, that. Well, that's probably a bad idea then. We'll get a light pull and see what happens. Yeah. Crick bridge went across, it went a big loop. Now we're going across another bridge, probably a hundred yards down the road. Well, we just got back out to State Route 4. I looked at my odometer. We're exactly 13 miles from the State Highway up to where the guy was in the ditch and it was from the last house that was six miles where he was out so he spent two days walking around those six miles trying to figure out how to get out of the woods uh he was walking at night uh boy that's a tough one you can't you can't tell which road is in and which road is out up there you just end up going around circles they're both at ocean beach hospital somebody found both of them they're both at the hospital i'm sure they're okay just tired and cold